Hi, this is Stu Harris with ITS Partners, and I'm again the Asset Management Team Lead. And this is the third video in uh, the series of the Altiris Asset Management Procurement videos. And in the first video, I went over an overview of the procurement system, talked about we, what each one of the components was and how they interrelated. In the second video, we did the beginning part of the setup, which is to set up the stock room, the company, and the catalog. So next thing we're going to do in this video is create some catalog items. And we've got three types of catalog items. A consumable catalog item, which is a, an item that's not going to be asset tagged. It's going to be a little bit lesser value item. For example, like a power strip, maybe a power cord, a keyboard, a mouse. Something that's not of enough value to worry about putting an asset tag on it. The second type of catalog item would be a fixed asset catalog item. This item is going to be a larger piece, like, for example, a desktop computer, a monitor, a laptop, maybe a projector. Anything that is large enough to warrant putting an asset tag on. And the third and last item is a software catalog item. This would be a specific piece of software, like, for example, Microsoft Project, Microsoft Visio, Adobe Creative Suite. This would be a license item that you'd want to track, a purchasable item. And a short note on that is that the software licensing compliance piece, one of the components of software licensing compliance is a software purchase. A software purchase is actually what's going to give me the number of licenses that I own. And a license can contain multiple purchases because you don't normally buy all of your licenses at one time and then not buy anything else again ever. You're going to buy them as you need them. So software purchases can be generated automatically through using this procurement system to purchase software catalog items. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm going to jump right into a consumable catalog item. So I'm going to just create an item here for a power strip. So I'm going to call it generically power strip. And I'm going to choose, it's not required, but I'm going to choose a catalog. And I'm going to use my Acme Company catalog. Because that's my catalog that I've been using throughout my videos. And I can associate a document again. This is just like in the previous video. If I had a PDF picture of this or um, a Word document describing this item, I could put that in here. Catalog ID is required the system, Altiris, will automatically assign a catalog ID for you. If, you. if you don't need to change that, that's fine. You don't need to. So then I can come down here. I can put in a manufacturer and a model. Um, I'm just going to put in APC and model. I'm just going to give it model number one, two, three. Again, not required, but I'm going to go ahead and put those in anyway. I'm going to use a different option that I've used in the past two videos. I'm going to save and create a new item just to kind of make things a little bit easier on myself since I'm going to add a few things. All right, in here I'm going to put a Logitech mouse. And again, I'm going to associate this to my Acme catalog. And manufacturer. Logitech, and then model, uh, let's make something up here, wireless dash, uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be my model number. And I'll save and create a new, and this time I'm going to make a keyboard. And you can be as generic or as specific as you want in the consumable catalog item name. And it's all, it's all going to come out on the other end for anybody that's using this catalog, purchasing the item. Anything you put in here will give them a little bit more information to tell them what they're looking for. We've got a comment field. Um, can put in any kind of comment I need. This item is generally used by XYZ company. 
A uh, couple other things in here. I've got an ability to put in a description of the item, a unit cost, so that people know exactly how much this would cost. Inactive, if I decide that I'm no longer going to buy this item, I can in deactivate it basically by checking that inactive. Okay, I'm going to come in here and manufacturer. Instead of actually picking one, I'm going to, or typing it, I'm going to actually pick one off of a list. So I'm going to look up a value here. Okay, I've only got the two that I did type in, so I'm going to have to actually type in Microsoft. And we're going to make up, make up a product model. And then I'm going to create one more item. And make this one a Microsoft mouse. Again, I'm going to put this in my Adobe, or I'm sorry, my Acme catalog. And in this case, I am going to do my lookup. So I have the ability to pick my vendor off the list as I have typed this in already. And we'll just give this just a model number. And we'll save this one. I'm not going to create any more. And I'm going to click OK. Close out of my page. All right, next I'm going to create a fixed asset catalog item. So in here I'm going to put in a Dell Latitude laptop. And I'm going to be very generic about this. I'm not going to get too specific. Yeah, I'm putting it in my Acme catalog. And unit cost, I'm going to go ahead and fill this one in here. We're going to say that this one is about uh, $980. And I don't have any currency data set up. All right, so I'm just going to say $980. Okay, in here I've got some more fields that I can choose from. And I've got a resource type that I have to pick now. This is going to give me a resource type to choose from that is an Altiris resource type. This is going to be a computer. So that this is how Altiris knows that there is a new computer in the system that's going to be added to our roster of assets. Okay, I'm going to save that. Again, I can put in a fixed asset catalog part number. I'll just call it uh, LAT123. Manufacturer is going to be Dell. And we'll just call it a latitude XYZ. I'm just making things up as I go along. And I'm going to go ahead and create one more item and we'll call this a USONIC monitor and again this is a fixed asset item so I have to tell it what type of resource it is in here this is going to be a monitor and down here I can give it a part number of VS-MON1 and making things up as I go along. And apply that and we'll close. So these are fixed asset catalog items. These are items that are, again, asset tag items. You're, these are things that you do want to track. If you don't necessarily want to track them, you can put them in as consumables. All right, the last type of catalog item is a software catalog item. So in here, we're gonna call this Adobe Acrobat Professional. And I'm again gonna put this into my Acme catalog company 
And down here, I do also have a resource type. However, that is automatically chosen as a software purchase. So that is linked directly in as a software purchase. I'm going to go ahead and save this guy. And close that out. All right, I'm going to do one more thing. Is I'm going to take a look at the catalog. And we'll be able to see the Acme Company catalog. Shows me six items, and I double-clicked this. So I, mean, I think I'm going to have to right-click this. And... edit this catalog. Now when we created the catalog in the first place this was empty. At this point we're going to be able to see we have a Dell Latitude laptop, a Microsoft mouse, a power strip, Adobe Acrobat. i got a handful of different items on here and this gets populated automatically as we create the catalog items. Now catalog items are things that are going to change over time. Somebody will at some point need to add in new items as they become available for your, your company. There's kind of a, a benefit and a curse to that. One, the benefit is that you have a set list of items that users can purchase. But two, again, somebody has to maintain it. So uh, again, there's always a there's always a physical price for that uh, type of benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing, and then move on to the next video. This item is called a bundle. A bundle is where I can say, okay, I've got a new employee coming in. I need to give them a brand new setup so that they have everything that they need. So I'm going to bundle together a few different items. So in here, this is not in the, the quick start menu. I'm going to come down here and create a bundle. So I'm going to call this new user laptop bundle. And I'm going to put a short description in here. And now I can actually add in my items for the catalog. So in here, I'm going to go down to my Acme company, pick their catalog, pick the resource type, and I'm going to add in a computer. This is going to be a fixed asset catalog item. And I'm going to search for Dell, so I can add in my laptop. Add in my laptop to the bundle. And then I'm going to add in a couple more items. Again, going from my Acme catalog item. From my consumables. Space. So I'm going to add in a power strip and we'll add in a mouse. So we're going to make their default be a nice Logitech mouse. And here we have a bundle. Have to add in quantities. So we're going to have one of these, one of these, and one of these. Now the bundle could also contain the software that's needed for this user. I'm going to make this just very simple. Have it be hardware and consumables. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and then close the window. My next video will also have the usage of a bundle and some other catalog items. And again, this is my third video in the series. The next, the fourth video will actually be the back end of purchasing these items. Thank you.